Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it still bull market trend what's going on with the stock market world. As usually let's move to 5 rules of risk management please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for Weibo. Let's move to Weibo. Looks like it's start let's start from the index chart. Bullish trend today. It started from positive, almost flat, and all day it did move bullish. It was even negative at some time, at 10 o'clock in the morning. And after that, it was nice bull run and still bullish trend. Still bullish trend. Now let's move to my chart, my watch list, and we will do technical analysis review. We will do technical analysis review. Let's start from... DXY daily time frame I'm using for swing, swing trading I'm using daily time frame for entry and exit position now it's uh, time for technical analysis my name is Vadik if you want to learn more about trading view setup and Weeble setup in this case it's a Weeble charts Weeble setup just go to the description there is the link about all my setups all my trainings you can quickly learn it. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages white line MA200, purple line MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. Below MACD indicator, RSI indicator and awesome oscillator bars. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my, my chart, look at it. Indicator green line. MA5 did bearish crossover over red line. It is entry for short position. When, while bars below MA5, below green line, it, is, it was bearish trend. When bars move above MA5 above green line, it was bullish trend. When MA5 did bullish crossover over red line, it was entry for bullish trend. As of now, last bar below MA5 and all moving averages, it is bearish trend. Even MA20 did bearish crossover over 200, it is bearish trend. It did bounce from the support line, but still in the bearish territory. Bearish dollar, it's a bullish for equities. Daily time frame, okay. Friday did all time new high, and Monday did reversal, and Friday did reversal. Today it kind of bounced from MA20. Will it continue bullish? We have to monitor it. We will see it in the next two days. It could be a bull trap because all indicators still bearish, but last bar moved above all moving averages. Bullish crossover four hours time frame same story right it was negative it was bearish and today it moved last bar above all moving averages bullish territory but all indicators still bearish could be a bull trap one hour time frame one hour time frame bullish trend on all indicators it was gap over here it did fill that gap and it did move and close above all moving averages. VXN volatility index for NASDAQ negative minus six and a half percent. It did move below below SMA below MA two hundred white line. Now it's in the bearish territory. But signal kind of mix. Uh, S P five hundred S P X. Same story like Qs, it did bounce, it did bounce from SMA 10, not from 20. It bounced, last bar still above all moving averages, bullish trend, and bearish divergences on all indicators. Nothing changed. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. Daily. 4 hours time frame. For S&P 500, same trend. Bullish trend, last bar above all moving averages. 
bearish divergence bullish trend bullish crossover yeah bullish trend smp more positive than q's one hour time frame also bullish trend with bearish divergences no changes bullish trend vix vix minus nine percent vix minus nine percent it did close almost below all moving averages except SM, uh, below ma50 Oh, the, it left the, it left a gap over here very small gap looks like it wants to fill that gap another gap over here bearish reversal bearish trend for weeks dow jones dia yesterday it did bearish reversal bearish crossover it was negative and today it did bounce and it did close above all moving averages it's a bullish territory, but all indicators MACD is still bearish and bearish divergence is still in place. Four hours time frame. Four hours time frame, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. All indicators also did bullish crossover, bullish trend. one hour time frame last bar above all moving averages bullish trend bullish trend on all indicators iwm russell 2000 daily time frame last bar below all moving averages bearish crossover but still in the bullish territory because it's still above SMA 20 above yellow line four hours time frame we did bearish reversal bearish crossover bearish trend one hour time frame bearish trend on all indicators apple Apple daily time frame. It did nice bounce three days ago, and it did fill the the gap. It did fill the gap, but it still has one more gap over here. Still has two more gaps above. One gap is filled already. Still, yeah, still in the bearish territory. It's trying to bounce, but still in the bearish territory. Four hours time frame, SMA 5 did bullish crossover and it touched SMA 20, could be rejection from SMA 20, bullish crossover. One hour time frame, bullish trend, bullish crossover and last bar above SMA 5, 10, 20 and 50, bullish trend. Apple, I'm sorry, Apple, Tesla. Tesla daily. Still below all moving averages, still in the bearish territory with bullish divergences. Still in the bearish territory. For our time frame, same story, bearish trend and bullish divergences and ready for bullish crossover for SMA5. For MA5, ready for bullish crossover. One hour time frame for Tesla. MA5, 10 and bars did bullish crossover over 20. It is positive territory. Bullish divergence. You see the trend was negative bearish. And all indicators bullish. NVIDIA. NVIDIA positive today again. My plus 5.5%. Last Friday it was plus plus 5%, minus 5%, and today it recover 5% back. Yeah, 5.5% back. Still bullish trend. Still bullish trend. 4 hours time frame. 4 hours time frame, it did bearish crossover. SMA 5 still below SMA 10, it's still 
kind of bearish crossover, bearish trend. But last bar above all moving averages, it is bullish territory. It is bull. It is bull. It is it is bullish territory. Bearish signal still on all indicators. It can it can be bull trap. For Nvidia, one hour time frame bullish crossover, bullish trend on all indicators. Microsoft. Microsoft plus two and a half percent daily time frame. Yeah, nice bounce. It did nice. It did nice bearish reversal signal, but today it did bounce with gap up. All indicators still kind of bearish. Microsoft four hours time frame bullish crossover bullish trend. And one hour time frame for Microsoft bullish trend. Amazon plus two and percent let's start daily yesterday it was yeah bearish and today it did bounce from sma 20 still yeah bounce positive but bearish divergences on all indicators four hours time frame amazon last bar above all moving averages bullish trend one hour time frame one hour time frame bullish crossover bullish trend and google google daily google daily uh it did bounce from sma uh from sma from ma 200 Bounce, it did touched bounce from 200 and MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and last bar touched MA20. Bullish crossover, bullish trend on all indicators. Daily. It can be rejection from SMA20. For hours time frame, it did bullish crossover and now it's, it moved and closed above MA200. Could be rejection from MA200, could be rejection from 50, from 100. Bullish trend. One hour time frame. Last bar above all moving averages except 200. Still in bullish trend, but still below 200. It is bearish territory, but signal and trend is bullish. Uh, Meta. Meta daily time frame. <laughs> Last bar. It did bounce from MA20 from the yellow line. Still kind of, still kind of weak. Bearish divergences on all indicators. We'll see. Looks like a bull trap. Four hours time frame for Meta. Let's see what's going on. Four hours time frame. It is weak. It's still, still MA five still below MA ten and twenty. Kind of weak sideways. All indicators still bearish. One hour time frame. MA5 and 10 did bullish crossover over 20. Last bar above all moving averages. Bullish crossover, bullish trend on one hour. Let's do summary. Dollar is kind of flat, still flat, not confirmed. And all in all indexes and equities still bullish on all time frame. After the large recovery, like I told you, buyers they buy every single dip. Every single dip they did buy, and they will continue to buy every single dip until something changes in the market. So far, it works very well for last several years. For last several years, it would buy the dip was very, uh, very executable, very powerful, very bullish uh, strategy. 
until it change. When it change, it will be completely different game. So far, it is still bullish trend. Bullish trend on all indicators. That's all kind of that's all kind of review from my end. Now let's let's move to disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purposes, we're using a pertaining simulator. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, ind indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.